how to safely test new themes, plugins, and custom code on your WordPress website. Let's say you want to try new features or update on your website, but you would rather test them safely before applying them to your live site. You can do this by creating a staging site. So what exactly WordPress staging means? Well, WordPress staging is a copy of your live website, but in a separate and hidden location. This allows you to experiment freely without risking your live site. If something goes wrong during testing, your live site will remain unharmed. Okay, ready to create staging site? In your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins area and click on add new plugin. And here, search for WP Vivid. Now install and activate this plugin. Once you activate the plugin, refresh the page and you can see we have successfully installed WP Vivid plugin. Now click on staging under WP Vivid backup plugin. And here, click on create a staging site button. Now you will be presented with three options. Location selection and database selection and what to copy. You can choose these options as per your preferences. But some options are available only in the premium version of this plugin. For now, I'm going to leave them as it is. Now simply click on create now button. And then confirm by clicking on OK button in the pop-up. This will kick off the process and take few seconds to complete the process. Once the process is complete, you can access your staging site using this link. Let's highlight the URL and right click and open this in a new tab. So this is your staging site homepage. In order to go to the dashboard of this staging site, type wp-admin at the end of this URL, something like this, and then press enter. Now type your dashboard login username and password and click on login. This username and password will be the same like you used to log in into your live site. Once you're logged in, let's try to make some changes into your staging site and we'll see if these changes will impact our live site. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to install a plugin. Let's go to plugins area and click on add new plugin. Okay, so here I'm going to install and activate this one right here, classic editor. Once you install and activate the plugin, refresh the page and go to plugins area click on installed plugins and here you can see we have two plugins inside our staging site and now let's go to our live site and see the installed plugins area and here inside the live site you can clearly see that we have only one plugin installed so this way you can test new themes plugins and custom code and your live site will be remain untouched let's say you are happy with the changes that you have made inside your staging site and you want to push those changes to the live site then how will you do that well, there are two ways. Once that comes with the pro version of this plugin, which is the fastest way, and that allows you to copy all the changes that you have made inside your staging site to your live site just by clicking on this one button. But make sure you are inside your live site. And second is the free option, but you have to do some manual work. Let me show you. In your staging site, go to WP Vivid plugin. In the backup and restore tab, make sure select the backup plus files and then simply click on the backup now button. This process can take seconds to minutes to complete the backup of your entire website. Basically, it depends on the size of your website. Once the process is complete, refresh the page and now below you will see a backup file. Now click on the download and then click on the download once again from the download tab. Download this backup file and save it anywhere on your computer. Next, go to your live site and click on WP Vivid plugin. And here, click on upload tab under the backup and restore tab. Now in this area, drag and drop your backup file that you have downloaded from your staging site and click on upload. For me, it'll take few seconds to upload this file. Once the file is uploaded, you may need to refresh the page. Now go to backup tab alongside upload tab. And here you will see upload backup file. Now just simply click on the restore and then click on the restore button once again to confirm the restore process. It will start the restoring process and take few seconds to complete. Now you can see the restore process has been done. Now click here to close it. Now you will redirect to the login page. So I'm going to log in once again. Now let's confirm our live site changes. Go to install plugins area and here you can see we have all the plugins that we have inside our staging site. So that's it. Now you know how to safely test new themes, plugins and custom code on your WordPress website. If you're interested in learning more about this WP Vivid plugin, like how to restore and backup your site and other amazing features, I've already created separate videos on this plugin. 
you can check out all those videos in the video description so thank you so much for watching this video if you learned something from today's video don't forget to hit the like button that would be appreciated and thank you so much for watching this video till then i'll see you next time